Makeup University. Thanks for joining me today. This video is going to be Wine Wednesday featuring Roscato Smooth. Now, before we get into this video, hey, if you haven't subscribed yet, would you? And then ding the bell so you don't miss a video. And if it's your first time here, thank you so much for joining me today. All right, we're gonna take a break from all of our beauty products, makeup products, skincare, hair care, and talk about inner beauty, the inner beauty that wine brings. This right here was on an end cap and if you saw the um, L'Oreal mascara video I did, I can be easily distracted by, oh, shiny object. And I was literally shopping, and this was on an end cap with a couple of other versions of the Roscato, Roscato brand, and it had a coupon on it, and it was all shiny display, and I was like, ah. I would love to try a new wine because that's the only way, unless somebody recommends something to you, the only thing you can do is just plunk down the money and try a new flavor unless you're lucky enough to live close to a Total Wine where they have samples and you can taste it and be like, yeah, I'll try that and I'll buy it. So I just had to buy it. It's $10.97 minus a coupon, $8.97. And here's the thing, most of the wine I buy is 10 bucks a bottle. True story. Every great once in a while, special occasion, I'll splurge and get like the 20, $25. There have been the rare occasions where I have got the $50 bottle, but for me on a daily basis, <laughs> daily, it's just not um, practical. So I got a little taste right here and actually I already got into this last night. Why the wine? Why the wine straw? Because I have dental work, okay. And if you've ever had your face drilled to get the teeth off, to put the new teeth on, trust me. After that, you will always use the straw. Coffee, tea, wine, pop, you name it. I use the straw. So overall, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up because I feel like sometimes when we rate stuff, you either gotta say yes or no. I like it. I'll buy it. No, I don't like it. I won't buy it. Roscato, I liked you. I would buy you again if I had the coupon. So $10.97 plus tax, you know, it's rounding out about $12. Maybe if I was giving it as a gift or taking it over for dinner, I'd get it twice. But um, smooth red blend, soft and silky. Who writes this? Get ready. Uh, Roscato smooth red wine, vino tinto suave. This is, it says my palate will be seduced by the seduction, the sensual and decadent flavors of chocolate, blackberries, and plums, all rounded by balanced and velvety tannins to create your extraordinary wine tasting. Well, I don't know about all that, but I do know that I liked it. I do know that if you saw the Roscato Red Blend in your local Walmart, because that's what I've got in my town, you guys. I live in a little area, and I've got the Walmart, because the Kmart closed down. So down at the Walmart, if you see that, and $10.97, I don't think I'd do it twice. $8.97, I would do it twice, which is my favorite story. I'll tell you my story while I finish my little glup of wine here. The Wine Freak Show, it's good. You'll like it. It's average is $20.99 a bottle. You can find it for $19.97, but basically it's a $20 bottle of wine. Here's the deal. Years and years and years ago, I saw in Costco, the guy who created Freak Show Wine, he was out there sampling his wares. You know, it was just him. And I tell you this story to encourage you because he was out there with his Freak Show wines and he was just sampling and getting people to taste and I tried it and I liked it and I'm gonna help a brother out and I went ahead and bought two bottles. They were $4.99. <laughs> Had I known, not that if I'd bought a lot, it would have lasted till now because this was years ago. But the point being, 
the wine was good and it became so popular that they were able to adjust their price and uh, go from $4.99 to $20.99. And the point is, you guys, no matter what you're doing right now, don't be shy or proud to be out there on the street corner hawking your own wares. Not like, you know, like bow chicka wow wow, but uh, the freak show, that vintner, I don't even remember his name. He was out there hustling his brand, making his sales, and it turned out really well from him. If you remember Calvin Klein when he started, he used to push a rack. He lived in New York and he would just push a rack of his clothing like down the avenue and be selling jeans right there off the rack. Not off the rack as it is now, the difference between designers and retail store, uh, like the haute couture versus retail store. No, boy was literally in his sneakers, in his jeans, walking down the avenue. Hey, you look good. You look like you're a size 10. You want a pair of jeans? I got a special. Look where Calvin Klein is at now. Same thing with Bobbi Brown. When she began, she had three lipstick shades and she didn't actually have counter space out at Nordstrom's. So uh, she would go stand at the front of the store with her three lipstick shades and just pull people in. Hey, you wanna try a new lipstick? Hey, you wanna try a new color? Hey, this would look great on you. Bobbi Brown was out there with her lipsticks on hand, personally getting them on people's faces and getting them to buy. And based on those sales, they began to carry her line, Bobbi Brown Cosmetics. Oh, now you can buy it in Neiman's and Saks, Nordstrom's, all over on the website. Guess what? Bobbi Brown, if she had not had the chutzpah and the gumption to go stand in the front of the store herself with her samples, trying on people, she wouldn't have a worldwide brand today. So I say all of that to encourage you, no matter what it is that you are pursuing, remember to stay humble and to work at it every day, even if it means you're down at the Costco sampling your own wines, standing in front of the store, testing, sampling, and selling your own cosmetic product, or maybe you too are walking down the avenue selling jeans off of a push rack. Don't give up. You never know where you might end. All right, everybody. Thank you for joining me for Wine Wednesday. I'm Cheryl Lynn. This is Makeup University. And remember, you look really gorgeous today.